or, or at least I don't feel good in this game recently. Sometimes I feel like a friggin' genius when something comes together, but given the amount of RNG in such games, well, there is that. And Bailiff keeps praising me from the other room. Thank you. Hmm. And we're gonna log for bad Billy plus one plus one. I want challenger. So uh, at the start of the game, I chose one of four heroes, and I chose Pied Piper, who says your shop sells an extra animal with plus one plus one permanently. Right. So that is this. That is slot one in shop. And if I log this, the next round I'm gonna see another thing with plus one plus one. I will have four gold, and I will be just be able to purchase both. Two plus one, three. There you go. Damage. Now see. And a Billy and another Billy. Pay to keep. Not exactly. Ozelos is saying, I can't play on this board. I've actually noticed that the brightness of the board gives me headaches if I play too much now. Sorry to hear that. I mean, there's volume here. Brightness, you would just have to adjust your monitor, but... And Balib says the animations on Mirror Mirror are very uh, bad for your eyes. Yes, yes, the worst. Yeah, for, for example, Bailup cannot play any FPPs or even watch me play FPPs because she's got some problems with the What's it called in her ear? No. Yeah. And she... Instant nausea and migraines. Use taken tubes. Oh wait, I have this here. Monster manual, no. Bounty board, no. Dark contract. I'll go for dark contract just so that I can go for this. Oh. Hmm. Not a lot of good is happening here. I'm just gonna take the stats. Doesn't make that much sense here. I would have to sell two to get the Shadow Assassin, and that's just temporary, and I don't have much to go with it. Do you know what? There's also White Stag. I think I could go next round for White Stag. The other animal? Question mark? Or maybe Shadow Assassin?
Uh, unfun fact, I actually damaged my monitor a year ago, two years ago, and I can't correct volume levels, brightness levels, or any levels whatsoever. I can't even turn it off. And I just keep forgetting about it to, to do anything about that. Are all units animals or is that due to the hero you chose? Uh, not all of them are animals. This is a good royal, for example. This is an evil monster. Uh, yeah, mo this is a good royal monster. Uh, but uh, yeah, the ones I'm seeing extra are just chosen from the pool of animals. It's not making them into animals. Yeah, animal. Sound about right. I wonder about just taking this one here. Yeah, General Grab Aston. Well, that was quite easy. And we're getting two bonus gold because of Prize Pig. And a Shadow Assassin thanks to her. I mm, guess I'm gonna grab another White Stag. And another White Stag. Probably gonna be Crystal Ball because it's the worst uh, setup for this guy. Merlin's Hat Cloak. Of the assassin. Probably Merlin's hat. See a different spell. Do I log for Ogre Princess? Sell these three and get Ogre Princess in here. And do I log for Double Feasting Dragon? I think yes. Beep, beep. Do I look for the spell? That's the question. I don't think so. I just look for this, probably. So three pairs of threes, and I didn't take Cloak of the Assassin, just this. But it's also helping with the Burning Palm and such. As always, is yours a CRT? You can change the ability mid combat, or is it set when you start the game? You mean my hero, challenger? Uh, no, every spell uh, that you cast is. Is just cast, and next round you can cast a different spell. Or if you see the same spell, you, you're just casting it. Some of them are temporary um, 
temporary stat buffs, some are permanent stat buffs, some have some special effects, like giving experience points and such. Overall, you can play one a turn, but there are some spells that allow you to play more spells in a turn, and there's one OP treasure that allows you to play a lot. All of them. Right. Garbo. Garbo, but I'll take it. Mm, I think I'll. Huh. I think I'll go for. Oh, we're up against the ghost, and it's easy. And it's a dragon, and put two prize pigs in. Forking rod for the one that we're not using. Lock for the third pig. Crystal Ball? No. Treasure Map or Bad Moon? We're at level 5. It's going to be Treasure Map. <laughs> Wombat Combat. Baba Yaga. Yes. Me likey. Should have purchased this beforehand. Next treasure we get is two levels higher. Oh, that's a shame. Fortunately, that's slightly too big for them. Seven. I think we got this, actually. And if they shoot incorrectly, they just die. With treasure map in hands, or rather, gloves. It's a bit angry. It's a bit rock and roll. I don't want a level 4 treasure here. Uh, yes, Challenger. RNG is a huge part of this. Fortunately slash unfortunately, depending on your viewpoint. Uh, there's even a fan-made tracker that makes... Uh, a number of simulations uh, 
that gives you a rough estimate of the percentage chance for you to win, lose, or draw once the board is seen, yours and the opponent. Sometimes you do have 100% to win, sure. Sometimes you have 0% to win. And obviously there's a ton of in-betweens. My, 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 that angry fella. Must have been really, really pissed off about something. Dynamic? I don't know if it's dynamic. Double Blessing of Athena seems like a fine idea. All right, we got our level seven treasure here into a level three. It most certainly is a matter of experience and also like several weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, several weeks ago, they drastically, dramatically changed the UI of the game. Whole new board, placement of everything, new frames, a ton of new artwork. So even, even if you had played this game a ton, it could be difficult to find your way back, so to say. But it does become second nature once you get 885 wins. Like winning the whole lobby. Because that's a metric that the game actually keeps record of for you. Or the obvious bragging rights. All right, level seven treasure. Black Prism or the World Tree chat? Because now I have a dilemma. And I actually think I'm going to go for Black Prism instead of World Tree. And try to find the usual ball. Nope. So that's a skip. Prism is more fun, yes. The other one is more oppressive, I would say. Like stoner skin. I mean, Aeon would be cute here, but sounds Aeon. Oh, I think more goes on this. Now we can upgrade the kitty. And lock for Sign of the Storm. And actually Spellweaver as well. It's plus six for the shop. Ooh, fancy. And a Baba Yaga for you. Yeah, that should be enough. Hmm. Oh no, the animation of casting it on everyone, and on this one twice. Oh no!
Mm. No, that's too much. Uh, probably negative eight, if anything. Mm. Yeah, sure. Let's make sense of it all. Lock for that. Mm. I don't know what this is exactly, but I'll take it. No oh, dwarves, you say? Yes, that's interesting. I think that's a wrap. I mean, not this fight per se. Uh, well, each has to be eliminated. I don't have to be the one doing the killing. Oh, 20 damage. Noise. All right. Do we have a ball? No, that's not the ball we're looking for. Damn. All right, let's set you back as you were. As you were, gentlemen. As you were. <laughs> Ooh. That's a flight of fancy. Hey, Bailip, so I have, I chose Black Prism over World Tree, you know? No, no, no. So keep trying to find it. Ale forking rod masz. A forking rod just doubles on the first one, on the initial one. Aha. Before doubling on everyone else, I would need, um, what's it called? Uh, the the... Mimic. Mimic, Mimic right. yeah. mm -hmm. So as Challenger, I do have to, I can't pronounce that, but I do have to kill that person. Skid Pabe Mio. I'm not sure what that means. And you can't hold it against me. Please. Ooh. And six more. Well, hardly I do remember something about playing this game. But I needed Balaam's encouragement. Thank you. <laughs> 